Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Yes. A 44-year-old man came to the ER with complaints of uh, dizziness and vomiting four episodes. Uh, he had been to outside hospital uh, where uh, the ECG had showed uh, AF with fast ventricular uh, rhythm and a patient was referred to AIMS. Uh, on initial 10 second assessment, uh, airway was patent, there was no pooling of secretion, uh, breathing was uh, saturation 95% room air, respiratory rate 20 per minute, uh, circulation BP was 100 by 60, pulse rate 136 per minute. Uh, at this point, cardiac monitors were connected. Uh, GCS wise, uh, E4, V5, M6, uh, bilateral pupils equally reactive, and uh, patient was afebrile, GRBS of 100 mg per deciliter. Uh, at this point, sir, we took an ECG. Hmm. Uh, ECG showed uh, a uh, uh, narrow complex uh, tachycardia with without P waves. You yeah. tell me how to categorize uh, narrow com sorry tachycardias. Uh, tachycardias uh, can be uh, narrow complex tachycardias and wide uh, complex tachycardias. Narrow and wide. wide. In narrow. In narrow complex sir can be due to uh, um, uh, regular irregular. Regular and irregular. Uh, uh, what is a regular narrow complex tachycardia? Sir, uh, what are the types of narrow complex tachycardia for regular? Sir, SVT. SVT. In SVT, tell me two types AVRT, AVNRT. Okay, in uh, irregular tachycardia, only atrial fibrillation. Matt. So, two important things mm. multifocal atrial tachycardia and atrial, fib atrial fibrillation. Okay, then other side. And then white, white complex, complex tachycardia, mm. also regular will be ventricular tachycardia. Regular will be? VT. White complex tachycardia, again it is classified in different categories. Mm. White mm. complex tachycardia, regular. Mm. White complex mm. tachycardia, mm. irregular. Mm. Regular can be two types. Mm. What are the two types? Mm. Monomorphic and VT. Monomorphic and VT. That is irregular. That is irregular. irregular. In regular white complex tachycardia, there are two important classifications uh, VT, VT and VT and SVT with aberrancy. Okay. In SVT with aberrancy, there are three types. Yeah. What are the three types? If, uh, white RBBB, LBBB, and, and uh, um, WP syndrome. WP syndrome itself, there are two types. Antidromal and, and orthodromal. orthodromal. Okay. So, you should know all these classification mm -hmm. and uh, white complex irregular tachycardia. Uh, polymorphic VT and uh, monomorphic VT. Ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation and torsadis point is. Okay. So, each category there are different types of uh, uh, algorithms for management. Okay. Narrow complex regular tachycardia management is mostly like Regular tachycardia will be like SVT management. Mm -hmm. Irregular, you Cardio you cannot uh, do the carotid sinus massage. You cannot give the uh, adenosine. Okay. Wide complex tachycardia, better. Which is a better drug? You can go uh, if it is RBB and LBB. You can go like previous SVT with aberrance. But if it is uh, uh, WPW syndrome, amiodarone will be the better choice. Suppose you don't know all these things. You don't know anything. Which is the best treatment? Amedron. So, Amedron is one drug <coughs> which can safely use in all categories of the tachycardia. But we don't use it. But I am telling, it can be safely used. It is a rate and rhythm control drug. There is an advantage of Amedron. Very rarely it can produce hypotension. But we should not use like that. There are categories. According to category, you have treatment protocols. You have to follow that. Okay. Uh, ECG showed narrow complex uh, QRS, uh, narrow QRS complex with tachycardia without P wave. Uh, so, narrow QRS, regular, uh, sorry, narrow complex, irregular tachycardia. Okay. What do you mean by narrow QRS complex? Define narrow QRS complex. So less than three, three small boxes. Okay. QRS less than th small three. Small three boxes. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, at this point, we gave uh, injection metolar, uh, 2.5 uh, metoprolol 2.5 milligram IV stat. Okay. Sir, uh, coming to sample history, uh, 45 year old man with no known comorbidities. 2.5 milligram metoprolol. Metoprolol yeah. for okay. rate control. Um, uh, 40, uh, sample history, 45 year old man with no known comorbidities had come to the ER with complaints of vertigo and vomiting. Uh, he had visited outside hospital in the morning uh, where. Uh, 
uh, ECG showed uh, atrial fibrillation with fast ventricular rate for which he was referred to AIMS. He did not have any complaints of palpitations, chest pain, breathing difficulty or any altered mentation. Uh, since initially uh, after giving metoprolol, uh, the heart rate did not decrease, we repeated another injection of uh, metoprolol 2.5 mg IV stat. What was the basic BP for this patient when uh, we he came? He is uh, 100 by 60 but he says he is usually hypotensive so it is okay. 110, is his okay. baseline. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, uh, cardio consult was sought, uh, ECHO showed concentric LVH, uh, no RWMA, good LVRV and no MR, AR or no clot or effusion. Uh, on reassessment of BP, it came to be about 80 by 60. Hmm. So, uh, we decided at that point that we are going to uh, cardio the person. So, now this patient is unstable. What are the signs of uh, unstable patient in a tachycardia? So, uh, chest pain. Okay. Uh, Desaturation, yeah. uh, chest uh, uh, altered mentation, yes. hypotension. Okay. Uh, okay. Breathlessness, hypotension, or heart failure. Yeah. That is breathlessness. Shock. Pulmonary one. Shock and alt, uh, this low GCS. Okay. Uh, so consent for synchronized cardioversion was taken uh, from the bystanders. Uh, uh, crash cart was kept ready, and we uh, provided uh, sedation to the patient using hmm. uh, midas and fentanyl. Okay. Uh, we charged the pedals of the defibrillator and uh, sing the rhythm and delivered a shock of uh, 200 joules. Okay. Uh, the patient got reverted to sinus rhythm okay. immediately, sir. Okay. Uh, then so, what all things you look after shock? You have delivered the shock. Yes, what all things you look at the monitor? One is uh, anyway you are uh, getting, you want to get a normal sinus rhythm that is achieved. Next thing. Saturation is good now here. Is ah, it? Is no, okay, it's good. What else? The most important thing you want to see whether the patient heart rate has come back to normal. What else? BP. Next is BP. When there is tachycardia, normally you get hypotension. Okay. When the tachycardia is corrected, the BP come back to normal. That's a good sign. Okay. So pulse rate and BP is very important. Patient was then uh, admitted under cardiology. Okay, so how do you how do you go ahead with this type of patients? Mm -hmm. uh, patient is unstable, so you have delivered mm -hmm. shock. That is a correct correct mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. What are the investigation you do for this patient? How do you go ahead after admitting? Suppose mm -hmm. this is admitted in your ICU. How do you manage? Because there is no cardiac issue. It's only a rhythm abnormality produced by something else. We don't know. That is called as lone atrial fibrillation mm -hmm. without any major clinical finding of mm -hmm. heart disease. Okay. So, uh, we have to uh, rule out uh, what like try to find out the cause, cause. what uh, they have caused. Uh, so we can uh, send uh, uh, like a thyroid function test. If you tell me the causes in two categories: cardiac, non-cardiac. So, uh, cardiac causes can be due to any uh, hypertensive heart disease, due to ischemic heart diseases, uh, due to any valvular heart disease. Hmm. It can be due to cardiomyopathies. Hmm. Uh, it can be anything which enlarges right atrium. atrium. Atrium that can produce atrial fibrillation. <coughs> That is most important thing. Then non-cardiac causes it can be due to thyro uh, thyrotoxicosis. Okay. It can be due to uh, binge alcohol drinking. Alcohol. Uh, it can be due to COPD. Uh, okay. Uh, COPD. COPD. Uh, hypoxia. Pulmonary embolism. Okay. Hypoxia. Hmm. Yes. So in that hyperthyroidism is one of the most yes. important and common cause, hmm. and alcohol also very common. Okay. Hmm. So is this patient is having anything of this? A okay. echo shows only concentric LVH that can be due to hypertension. Okay. And this uh, thyroid normal, thyroid function is just normal. So if you are not able to find out any reason, and if angiogram is also normal, then it is lone atrial fibrillation. Okay. Then what all things you have to do for this patient? You have given shock that is correct. It has reverted back. What else you give? What other things you give? Because. Within 48, 24 hours, most of these patients may come back to a, a abnormal rhythm like atrial fibrillation if you don't treat continuously. So, so amidron infusion. So, infusion will be a, one of the best choices to control the atrial fibrillation after that. Okay, then. So, what is the dose you have started? So, we start with 150 milligram uh, for about 10 minutes, hmm. followed by 1 milligram per minute for 6 hours, then 0.5 milligram per minute for 18 hours. Okay, so loading dose has to be given, like this, what you are told. Hmm. Then, after that, next day onwards, 100 milligram hmm. TAD either can be given IV or it has hmm. to switch to tablets. Okay, that has to be continued, otherwise, it can come back to 
uh, atrial fibrillation after some time then what else you give anticoagulation if we will create uh, calculate the chadwar score okay if anticoagulation is needed or not hmm. then we decide that is for long term no. now he is admitted in your hospital no. with an atrial fibrillation we have done an emergency echo that does not show any clot no. but emergency echo in tachycardia may not pick up most no. of the things okay you can you can just see some minor findings so there is a high chance for uh, uh, ventricular clots even now we have to alter monitoring we should do alter is for atrial fibrillation to like uh, whether it recurs back or not what other drug can prevent clots in the ventricle or uh, sorry pulmonary embolism not pulmonary embolism stroke what drug you give normal care wait apparent has to be started for this patient whether he has improved in rhythm or not he had to start because he has he ha- this patient had atrial fibrillation for some time mm-hmm. there is a high chance of clot inside the atria that can go to ventricle normal echoes in emergency room may not pick up this so better to start on uh, uh, heparin in emergency then afterwards you can stop it once you rule out everything you can stop it okay so heparin has to be started and if the chart was score what is the score you zero. got zero. Zero. zero zero so there is no uh, no problem if it it does not recurs back then it may not be required okay we have to find out Uh, other causes like ischemic heart disease has to be ruled out by doing uh, angiogram or angio whatever it is okay what happened to this patient afterwards so the uh, patient uh, he did an mri was also done it showed a tiny chronic uh, lacunar infarct in right thalamus okay uh, then after that patient was observed for two days and then uh, patient was discharged hmm. on metolar hmm. uh, metoprolol was okay what how much dose was 50 given 50 mg 50 mg once daily SR or plain? No, only plain. What is the ideal treatment to be given? Metoprolol, what is the duration of action? It is only 12 hours. Okay. So you are giving SR, then only it will become an extended release and control will be complete. Okay. Otherwise, it will be a partial control. Night time, there will not be any control of uh, heart rate. The patient can develop again. Any other habits of patients can develop all these things? Habits. Mm-hmm. smoking alcohol lot of coffee all these things you have to rule out any drugs can produce uh, atrial fibrillation huh? female phenylephrine phenyl- which the drug has got phenylephrine cold medicine cold medicine has got uh, phenylephrine pseudoephedrine all these things so <coughs> acetylene can produce sometimes acetylene is uh, salbutamol that can produce sometimes okay Dr- recreational drugs like amphetamine, amphetamine can oh. produce atrial fibrillation so all these things you have to advise the patient can this patient go for exercise regular walking is it okay to advise huh? graded exercise can be done and uh, like you told patient can be one or two days observed on halter monitoring whether patient is developing paroxysmal af or not that can be checked okay anything else you want to tell on discharge what all medication uh, you was put on was put on uh, clopidogrel atorvastatin mm. metolar and mm. uh, vertin okay so uh, aspirin or clopidogrel is one drug <coughs> which can be uh, continued on patients who is a uh, like uh, elderly individual who is not a uh, not pro, not a uh, candidate for your uh, anticoagulant drugs this can be started aspirin or clopidogrel this may not completely cover the problem in this type of patient but it is recommended to start this drugs in elderly individual instead of warfarin or something else okay anything else you want to add okay thank you <laughs>